a serious new drum is a hardcore space survival game. Here you will be treated with the potatoes and they will give you a duct tape, and the splits will be driven into an intimidate place for not knowing English. The gameplay of the game is made in the style of Minecraft, and your primary task will be the typical extraction of natural resources and the construction of camp where you can store and process these very resources. From the first, from the second and from the last clans, the game will be great. It can be seen that developers have invested their intellect, directness and soul into it. What it catches the most is open world and good optimization, which are not very easy to find in the world of gaming industry today. More impressive is something else, the game is being developed by only three people. Hell yes, if you are a gape, you will be a fatal system error. I don't care that the last phrase has three words. It's clear it's very difficult to develop a game of such high level with such a tiny team. So the guys move to Steam Early Access to show players the alpha particle of the product and understand what gamers want from such a project. To be honest, I'm shaking from such a marketing move as in such centrifuge, but what can you do about it? The dudes from Phoenix Fire Entertainment are artists, they see it that way. The plot of game is self follows with the next line with a potential facial expression. 2046. That is the future. Humanity travels through the space without remorse, touching everything it sees with a rolling hand. As a result, it was decided to create an expeditionary project Osiris to explore the galaxy. Our monkeys that is our volunteers are sent to the Gliese 581 system and after that all the fuss begins. Due to the unforced reason, circumstance or razor of malfunction of the spacecraft, the pilots have to make an emergency landing on the nearest planet. Here you enter the imaginary stage. From this moment, the essence inside you is free to do whatever you want, because the game begins. To survive on harsh and no oxygen free planet, you need to build a planetary complex on the territory of which there will be solar panels, defense system, place to sleep, food, dump and waste. In the end, you even have a build a farm like an amortician. Note, I do not advise you go to outside the area market you are a productive organ at night. If you are Alan Wake, you can take a chance to start writing another masterpiece of horror literature in online viewing mode. Osiris New Dawn is an example of how to make games on tight schedule and with a small team. The conspiracy theory around Cosmos Sims again reigned around us and this is wonderful. You and I serve the so-called colander for sifting trash in the gaming industry. Bad specimens remain on the great and cool specimen fall into what call it goodness. And be sure, Osiris in a good way has already broken through the sieve and soon it will also break through the what. Just recently I wrote a review on a cute astronaut tour. Space breaking didn't let me go that evening and my friends and I sat down at Osiris New Dawn. After all, we know that is never enough space. The equivalential astronaut can be summed up in the word darling. Today we are introduced to be a completely different world, and he is not nice, not good, he is cruel, sullen and ruthless. I am writing this review during storms, visibility is zero, often companioned by a precipitation, is a special story, a storm at night. The apogee of the storm at night when it is found you in a desert at not near the house, when the sun went below the horizon too quickly, when the darkness began to howl and growl, and when it became clear was the boss on this planet. It seems like a grind of materials which has already become the familiar crafting elements of buildings, weapons and equipment, but in a frame so successful that you immediately forget about the secondary nature of game mechanics. Against by standards were terrible nights, patrols and search for rare materials. At the very start of the game, rifles were lost and we had to fight monsters without a sword. The game plays us with a light touch of RPG, development tree and character leveling. The character pumps the effectiveness of certain disciplines, which allows you to get more, fight better, wear more, run faster. And not only the visuals are good, but also the potential. The planet where you ended up in the beginning is not only world. And that was a revelation. If you do not watch the trailers, do not read the manual. The game is perceived a completely different way and gives this incoherence triple. As a summary, I will say this. 
The outgoing year threw up two games from which I did not expect such a storm of emotions. The already mentioned Astronir and Osiris New Dawn are firmly established in my personal equally excess space chart. Thanks for watching and bye bye.